Hi there. It's time for another holler haul. And Dexter's here still wearing his Ghostbusters stuff. I got two boxes here that I have not opened. And I'm hoping one of them is a mystery box. But I don't really know. So let me just pull them aside and open them. I'm going to open the smaller one. First, and I guess Dexter will pose for you while I open it. Okay. What do we have here, Dexter? This is, I don't know, but I want to know. Okay, first of all, we have a box of gluten-free Bisquick, which I usually buy at Walmart. But it was about 50 cents cheaper on Holler. It was $4.19. And it's usually, I think, $4.75 at Walmart. So... I went ahead and picked up one box. Then I got two of these to give as gifts to two of my sons at Christmas. And their little keychain um, power. I don't think they'll carry them on a keychain, but they're still a nice size. I like this blue color. I don't know if that's showing up, but it's kind of a cool color of blue. It's almost a teal. It's, I don't think it's showing up quite right, but it is a neat color. And then I got black, just to charge their phones for emergency. Um, what is this? I don't know. It's kind of damaged a little bit. It says it's a 72-page coloring book. And then it has some fat crayons with it. So that'll go along with the other thing I got so my girls can have in their stocking. Although I'm not really happy with the way this one's all broken up. Cause, but it's alright. It has these nice fat crayons with it. And I do believe this one was $2.50 and the other one I bought with the marker was $2.00. Yeah, wow, these are good big crayons. And none of those look broke, so... See if I can stick that back in there before Christmas here. All right, there we go. So let's see, grab this book. These are super cute. I'm sure you've probably seen them. I've gotten one before too. And this one is the Happy, but the other one I got was called Bright. And they come with a whole lot of pages and little envelopes and cutouts and stickers. Like, these are washi tapes that are stickers in here. And I guess we can go ahead and look at this one. Skip ahead if you're not into scrapbooking. This is what the one called Happy looks like. So you have a bunch of die cuts you can glue to your pages. And then this is the washi stickers. And then these are other stickers. Then you have papers where you can put small photos and decorate them with the stickers and whatever. Or whatever else you want to do with this. Here's an envelope. Here's another page. Um, there's a plain green. There's, that's kind of neat. Ooh, there, this one's different on the back too. That's cool. This is a nice polka dot page. And here's one with three little slots. One, well, two slots. Three different colors. Um, let's see. We got that. And this kind of gold color. God, this reminds me of trees. Where there's one brown right in the middle. Um, here's another envelope with stripes. And some chevron. Some polka dots. Another envelope. Polka dots and the end. And all that is three bucks. So I'm going to be using these for our little field trip um, journal things. They're cool. This, oh my gosh, this is way cuter than it even looks. It's like a bean bag. It's really heavy and squishy. It's a little hedgehog. It was three dollars. And since my girls have a woodland themed room, I thought this would be super cute on the bookshelf. But I am going to save it for Christmas. Um, it's got a little piece of tape on it. But this is so nice. It's like a wool felt material, but soft. 
but super, super heavy, like, and a little squishy. It's almost spongy. I don't know how to describe it. It's gunned, so it's really a nice quality. That is cute. I'm going to set it right. No, it's not for you. There. Okay, what else have we got here? Oh, yeah. I grabbed this um, little craft kit. It was super cheap. I want to say it was $2. And I looked it up first. There's actually a video of it out there if you want to look it up. It'd be great for little two, two to four year olds. Um, you can peel off. They're sticky behind, and then they have three different types of things they can stick to make collages. They can make them all one color, or they can mix them up. So they come with pom-poms, some kind of glittery stuff. Um, and the other one, yeah, like this snowy stuff, and then glitter. And it only sticks to right there, because you peel this off. So there's three. That's pretty good for $2. That's a gift for Christmas. Another Christmas gift I got was this Melissa and Doug tape activity book. It comes with the four um, different rolls of tape. And then they do this with it. Or they do this with it. And they can even tear little pieces to make. And here on the back it shows you all the different pages that are in there. And what they'd be doing with the tape. So, I don't remember what that was. It wasn't as cheap because it's Melissa and Doug. So, I grabbed this other deodorant this time because last time I got the kind that smelled so, so cologne-like. So, for my husband, I thought I'd let him try this one too and let's see if this smells a little better or if it's also super, super strong like cologne. Uh, we'll find out. So these are a little bigger than what Dollar Tree usually has for a dollar. And these are 99 cents. And gosh, they are not kidding around about the lid. Hang on. Dexter, can you entertain while I try to uh, open this deodorant? Wow, if it's that hard to open, you're going to be very smelly. All right. Here we go. I've gotten it open. And... Wow, is this unscented? It's called Fresh Comfort. It has... <laughs> I can't even smell anything. That's weird. The other one was so gross. Yeah, this is the one I would get if you don't like, enjoy man cologne. Even on your man. I can't stand cologne. So, the other one I would get if you really like cologne smell. This was a quarter. And it's going in a stocking. They advertise it as being a sandbox toy with bubbles. But yeah, whatever. Like, and then these were 75 cents. So good. They sent me two different ones. That was nice of them. It says Jumbo Coloring Activity, coloring and activity Book. Not bad for 75 cents. They're the same idea, so I mean, I don't need to show you they're the both of them, but they're Care Bears, and they were totally worth 75 cents, and what each one of my girls needs to get one for Christmas. So that is that box, and now I'm really actually happy with everything in that box. Everything is great, especially this stinking cute little hedgehog. It's just so cute. So now I'm going to open the bigger box. I don't know if this is a mystery box or what. It's big. I don't remember ordering anything big. You know, Dexter, you're really good about keeping people company while I'm off ordering bo or opening boxes. Okay. It is, in fact, something I ordered and a mystery box. So this is the something I ordered. This was $6, and I had some credit, or I had a coupon, I don't know what, so I didn't quite pay that much. But this is Peanuts Surprise Slides Game, and this game is really cute. It has these pieces that you take out, there's four of them, and flip over while you're playing, so the whole pattern of the game changes, and 
the theme along with peanuts is the seasons because you have summer, winter, spring, and fall, which I think is really cute. I haven't seen a game with seasons before. And you have these four little game pieces and the spinner. And I just love it. I really love this. I know my girls are going to love it. And the other box is a box inside a box. And it's a mystery box. And we're going to find out what's in it together. And I'm kind of scared. Because I am one of those people that isn't... I don't consider super lucky when it comes to stuff like this. So, here it goes. I'm looking in and oh my gosh. What am I even looking at? Yeah. Alright, so. First of all, we have this awesome game for a little boy, which I don't have. I don't have any little boys. My little boys are all big now. It says it's for two players, ages 7 and up, and takes 15 to 30 minutes. Hmm. It's two model kits. Build and play. So you build the cars and play the game. This is going to go as a Christmas gift to, um, what do you call it? You know, the people that ring the bell, it slipped my mind. Because, or something like that at, at the store because I don't have any little boys. Or, you know, I could mail it to somebody if you know anybody that needs something like that. I'm not seeing anything in this mystery box that I can see so far that I'm going to get excited about. This is a journal. Don't give up. Great takes time. And it's by Just the Nest. <sighs> what is this item? Oh, see, I don't, again, I have no little boys. So here's a remote control car for a little boy that I don't have. Actually, <sighs> This is terrible. Okay, this is funny right here because anybody that knows me knows that I hoard crayons. I always buy them, and I don't need any. I need crayons like I need a hole in the head. So here's a 12-pack of crayons. Something in here has broke. Here's the uh, package. It got on the crayons, and it's also on other stuff inside here. So I guess that's a good thing for me because now I can call Holler and say, I hate to do that. I really hate to, but it looks like this was a package of Dots hand sanitizer that has three little bottles and the green bottle has completely emptied out into the box. You saw it here, folks. This was supposed to hold it, I guess. That could have been, you know. Blech. Okay, here is a spinner. Again, I have no little boys. Sometimes I wonder, why can't they look at what you ordered and figure out, oh, she doesn't order. What am I going to do with that? Natural jute cord for crafting. No clue what I'm going to do with that. Here's the rest of the dots thing with the scuzz all over it. And last, it looks like. No, it's not last because there's two spinners. Not one, but two. And, yes, this is the last thing. I got this great big tote bag. And it has got no tags on it whatsoever, so I can't even tell you. It's huge. That I can use. I mean, I don't need it, but I can use it in my car or something like that. So, that was my, I want to say that was the $8 mystery box. And, yeah. I got to find a little boy. The, the problem is nobody else in my family has kids. So I'm thinking way down the family tree. I have like a second cousin who has a little boy. I could box up these two toys and send and say, here you go. Or I could drop them off in the toy um, 
bin for Christmas time for somebody who, who needs it, which is one of those things is what I'll do. I can also do that with these because I don't think my teenagers are going to get super excited about some fidget spinners, although this one is one of their school colors. Um, I can give this as a gift because I don't need a journal either. Maybe I can just give it to... It's not real manly, but I was going to say my dad loves to write down notes and lists. So, I have another mystery box coming. And you guys can keep an eye out for that one. I think it's going to be smaller because it was like a $6 mystery box or something. All right, well, thanks for watching and... There you go. I hope if you guys got mystery boxes, you got some awesome stuff and you didn't get hand sanitizer blowout. Bye.